All right, guys, just wanted to make a video here showing you I'm just bringing stuff in um, from the mobile app now. I was out in the field with the app, and you will start seeing all of the pictures kind of rolling in uh, in the mobile app um, media folder. And you can see some of them are already set, so I've already got my cover photo in place here. Uh, and all the ones with green check marks are just right in the report. Um, and then more will be coming over. So we're still uh, just getting some more pictures coming in. We're almost done at the whole roll here. So, you know, it doesn't take too long when everything's syncing well to just get all your images in. Uh, so now I, what I can do is make all of the green mark ones disappear. So that just kind of shortens my list, so all the ones I was able to put in the report on the app as I was going. So I just wanted to, uh, th this video that I'm making here is not a tutorial. I really just wanted to give you a feel for using Scribeware and using Scribeware version on the mobile app. And just, uh, I'm going to kind of show you some report writing and just take my time here. So the video could go on a little bit, but it'll give you kind of a flavor of things. Uh, this is the inspection fee, and I've not been paid yet, so I'm going to leave this off and that'll be an invoice in the report. Um, I, hopefully they'll pay me eventually. <laughs> the overview is, um, I, I will actually wait and just do that on my mobile because I can use voice to text so well there. So um, I'll show you, we'll, we'll just do a little bit of report writing so you can get a feel for it. The roof was leaking in some spots, which was too bad because it wasn't that old, the roof. I walked the roof, it was a gable roof. Uh, the flashings were visually standard. It's an architectural grade shingle. It wasn't that old, maybe six years old, and it was not an overlay. So uh, composition roofs where I work are so common, so um, I built out check boxes for all of them. So we're going to do tune-up repairs needed. Uh, and I'm going to use a little pest icon, part of a pest inspection. And let's drag some pictures in here. These are pictures of some leakage by the entry door. Now notice the captions came in. That's because I used the voice to text on site to caption them. I might add a caption for this one. All right, now I did a bunch of other things and then went back to the roof. That was right at the entry. So I actually have these scattered around. So uh, here's it. Now I'm back at getting up on the roof again. So uh, I'm going to grab these two shots. Got some other pictures here, some roof stuff. Uh, there's a video they hadn't uh, nailed the skylights down. So that's obviously kind of important. Uh, let's see. And then I've got a couple pictures all the way at the very end when I was on the porch. This one is what I wanted right there. All right, so now we're going to drag all those pictures in. So you can see how quickly they come in. And what I want to do is get these all captioned. So I want to caption this one. Localized wood decay in the edge of the roof above the gutters. Right. Obviously we got spell check in the captions here. Hit save. Uh, and that caption covers a lot of these. I'm going to note You see I'm just going through trying to caption some of these. Then this is the other one I want. Uh, 
obviously it would have been ideal if I had gotten all of these captioned on site. When I did this, I actually had another home inspector riding along um, and I had the client there. <laughs> so it was hard for me to do all of the voice to text with the phone as, as I wanted to. Uh, but cool, this is what I wanted to report on for the roof. Um, so now what I'm going to do, if you read this, the very uh, last sentence here is examples of observations and repair items noted during inspection include. I'm going to put my cursor there and then I'm going to hit this button and that's going to uh, give me this list. So we could read the whole thing. Tune-up repairs are recommended to prolong the useful life of the roof. This is an older roof but there appears to be useful remaining life and I might even change that. Um, Architectural grade comp shingle. This is how long they normally last. 18 to 22 is more realistic. Uh, examples. Wood decay noted at the eaves. Signs of roof leakage. High moisture meter readings. Upper roof down draining onto lower roof. Uh, so these are all the little comments. Pretty pretty slick. I don't think I've, I need to do all that much. Um, Recommendation, hire a licensed roofing contractor. Further value, repair this roof to ensure reliable roof performance, period. So I uh, might switch this to a major concern because it's roof leakage. So what a beautiful comment, right? And it really didn't take all that long. I, um, you know, spent a few minutes on it, but pretty, pretty nice. So let's just keep going. I like to just go through all my pictures here. So I often jump around a little. We'll go to fuel storage and distribution. Um, there was some signs of an oil tank, so there was an active uh, decommissioning statement. Well, I'm going to change this to recommended disclosure. This is a pre-listing inspection. Be sure to obtain to, to, to disclose a decommissioning statement for this tank or any evidence has been removed. Let's find that picture. Where was it? This is how I work. I end up getting here it is. Boom. Uh, old oil lines noted. Uh, I'm pretty done with that comment and then we'll go back down to where those uh, propane tanks were. I've already got most of this filled out on the app so shut off location at tank. This shows the propane shut off at the propane tanks. Boom, boom. So I'm just showing this is a description it doesn't go to the summary but I could even open these and just um, Put a little circle on them, showing the, the shut off to the propane tanks. Um, now I'm going to use the keyword search. I'm going to type in hand. Small tanks must be filled by hand. I'll grab one of these pictures and move it down there. Uh, this house has several smaller propane tanks. We could be more specific at the north side of the deck. Not nice. It's a little specific thing, just saying, hey, these are the small tanks, and talk to a propane provider if you want to get a bigger tank, basically, uh, where you don't have to fill it by hand. Um, there was no garage here, so I can just leave this blank, or I could remove it entirely. Um, there was an outbuilding that was not inspected, so I might um, make a note here. switch that from a repair item to just a note and a limitation uh, and here's a picture of it. Let's see what other stuff do we have. The decks here were in pretty terrible condition so I could show you that. Let's see there wasn't really there's was some partial fencing. Exterior stairs were non-standard so this place had a whole um, bulkhead and dock so I have a little bulkhead beyond the scope type note and I went and grabbed a few pictures of it I do like to do that um, I'm 
it changes to a recommended disclosure item. Visual inspection does not include an evaluation of soil stability docks or bulkheads. Um, anyway, and I'm, I'm putting in a few comments of things that I noticed here. Um, And I've got a few comments here. Um, So you can see, you know, I, a lot of my technique, which isn't necessarily the right one, but just the way I like to do it, is a lot of things that are beyond the scope. I still put pictures in and report on some stuff so that people um, have a sense of, of even things that are beyond the scope. Uh, I got some pictures of an arborist uh, tuning pre's uh, vegetation off the house. captioning that to add a little more detail. Um, all right, here's a heat pump video. Let's do a little heat pump stuff for fun. So we'll shoot down to this. Heat source is electricity. It is uh, electric forced air and a heat pump. Manufacturer is ream. Capacity, this was three tons age 1999 so that's kind of an old timer there were no service records noted on it so vents and flues none so if i leave this blank nothing prints just leave it blank air filters is um, reusable the forced air furnace air conditioner heat pump heat pump present and this is a whole little blurb about what they ought to do when they service it uh, it's a ream uh, the data plate Boom, we'll just drag that data plate over. So this is an old R22 system, so I'm using the keyword search. There it is, R22 note. I don't know why that didn't come up with it, but anyway, I started typing in the word refrigerant. So I wanted to get that in there because this is kind of an old R22 system to, that's going to impact its useful service life. This is an air source heat pump. It's three tons. It is electric and it's from 1999. So servicing ducted heat pump recommended. I'm going to take that one. Uh, I have a video of the compressor running. I got a picture of it running. I'm going to caption this. Um, I think that's all I need on the heat pump here for now.
So now let's um, read this. Heating and heating cooling contractors recommend annual servicing to maximize life. No recent service records are noted. I recommend having the system serviced for the heating contractor. The system was tested in heating mode. You can switch it to cooling if you want, and or heating and cooling. Responded well to normal operating controls. This unit is 22 years old and close to the end of its useful service life. I would budget to update. And I'm going to give this bold and italics. And we can even give it a little red. And then we're going to go use our bullets and caption. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. So I've got a nice little heat pump. I'm going to put this above the rec the uh, the notes. I just resequence that comment. And then I'm going to come down to uh, present distribution methods, forced air duct work, uh, common testing notes, uh, ducts working, uh, thermal images show approximate temperatures of heating registers. Well, this is heating and cooling, so I can switch that. Okay, so I want to show you, um, I, I use a separate thermal imager to bring pictures in. So I put my memory card in my computer and I'm going to come up here to media, click this to open it up and then there's this folder and I'm going to find my little disk here and I'm going to click this and I hit fluke and it's now connecting Scribeware to that little uh, memory card. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to get my most recent pictures and you can see I've got a few different pictures here of heat coming out the ducts. I mean, it's just bulletproof like hey man this heat pump's working. Yeah, I got 105 coming out of it but even when they're just warm I put it in. I, my objective is just to uh, show that that it was working when I was there. So uh, so now that uh, you can support multiple devices on Scribeware easily. Mobile media here, bring in a memory card for other stuff up here. You can do the same thing if you were doing a sewer scope or a drone or whatever. So cool, we could, while I'm in here, I could get a few, few pictures of things. Let's go into plumbing and we will hit water temperature. We'll drag the picture in and it was 124, which is technically a little too hot. Um, but well, I, I usually don't make a comment unless it's hotter than 124. So we'll give this to him there. Just a little note. Uh, I have a picture of the dryer working. So we could go into laundry facilities, dryer. Uh, this was ducted to the exterior. The duct needs cleaning and thermal images show operable. Uh, let's go into here and I have pictures right at the very beginning I found the dryer exhaust vent on the outside of the house uh, right there open it up give it a little circle and notice it's pre-captioned just because I used the voice to text on my mobile app while going um, all right, we got some localized route repair in a picture. Oh, well, let's let's go back to our, our thermal images. What else do we have here that we want to get in there? Uh, there was one more picture. That, that's really all I took here. I didn't find too much, so I think we're good. We'll go, go back to our mobile media. There's some wood decay here at the entry, so I have uh, an awesome uh, little comment here. Exterior and decks, localized route repair is needed. Boom, you can hit that. This wasn't too bad, so I'm going to call it just a repair. And we will grab uh, these. Notice they're captioned already. Wood decay noted below the hose bib. Um, I think that was really it for the house rot. So I think we're kind of good, good there. There's a lot of rot and some other things, but um, 
So uh, this place also had aluminum siding. It also had some plywood siding. So we'll get that description filled in. Um, and I'll come up here and I'll use my bullet to caption. So localized rot repairs are needed. The exterior trim, hire license general contractor, repair, damage, decayed. Examples of specific observations. Wood decayed in and below the house of the entry side of the house. East side. Boom. Done with that. Okay, um, so now we could do a dex one. We're right near there. The eaves actually, they had plywood, uh, open rafters in places, and plywood um, in other places. And actually, it wasn't plywood, it was like a tongue and groove. Exterior doors, solid core, sliding glass. Exterior window frames, metal. I usually get this done on the mobile, but. Again, I was distracted, a lot of people chasing me around. We did have a deck here, so as soon as I hit present, we get a whole link to the DACA guides. I've put in a set of directions, how you build a deck. The structure was ground contact and non-treated. Ledger board was non-standard. Guardrail was non-standard. Decking material was softwood. And I won't even use that, I'm gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna go with old deck, numerous repairs, repair, replace. I use this one so much I just have a little checkbox and I got a whole bunch of illustrations built in and I can choose the ones that I want to use. Uh, so let's um, let's start. I know I don't need this deck stringer one. I, I do want that one. Uh, I'm going to leave that in there. I don't need this one. Uh, I might leave that in. I get rid of that. I get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. Just need a couple illustrations. Easier to get rid of them than find the ones you want. Uh, so let's see. Rotted fungal rot in the decking. White fungal rot. More wood decay. And ab abandoned wiring. It doesn't matter. Don't know how the ledger's bolted. More rot, rot, rot. Excessive cantilever. Corroded hangers. So then I ended up with more pictures when I was on the deck and on the roof. Um, yeah, this one right here. That's wood decay around this balcony. Okay, and the balcony again, and a little more wood decay. Look at all those pictures ringing in. Boom. And a lot of them are already captioned, right? Um, white fungal rot noted. Ledger bolting, let's move this, we'll resequence it. Where there's my deck ledger. So we'll get these two next to each other. Get the spell check going. Notice how I'm just really, like when I'm on my mobile app, I'm just speaking the defect. White fungal rot noted, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, guardrail systems incomplete. I didn't caption this one. Some of the metal hang corroded. I type like a Neanderthal, so voice to text is great for me. Um, 
excessive cantilever. Look at that cantilever on this deck. It's pretty terrible. Um, all right. I got tons of stuff on here. Look at all these pictures. So uh, options include a full rebuild or implementing repairs as feasible to prolong the use of the deck. Examples of observations. Boom. Look at all this stuff. All these are problems. So uh, overall, this deck's numerous repairs are needed to the deck. Um, Recommend additional invited by a qualified contractor. Boom, boom. I'm going to give this red. And it's part of a pest inspection, so it's not included in my pest inspection. Fungal rot noted. White fungal rot. White, white fungal rot. West side. We'll get to change that. Um, no ledger attachment noted for west deck. North end bolts are missing. Um, guardrail system is incomplete. There seems to be nicer new concrete stem wall. Some of the deck beams have been updated with treated wood. Excessive cantilever. I'm gonna. That one's bad. All right. So kind of a nice comment here, huh? Um, I'm gonna just bring this one all the way down to the end. And what else we got? I just might get rid of that. There's a lot wrong here. Um, All right. I mean, isn't that amazing? Like uh, how many different defects and stuff he can put in. And I know I mean I spent a little bit of time on this comment, but it didn't take that long. And it's both vague and specific. So I really love that. All right, let's jump into some more stuff here. Wiring. Um, numerous repairs are needed to the wiring system. I'm going to call this just a repair. It wasn't that bad, but there was a lot of stuff. We'll start dragging some things in. Again, I'm getting these pictures captained. Um, all right, what other electrical stuff do we have? I found abandoned wiring on the outside. Um, missing cover plates, open grounds on the second floor, open grounds, um, the wiring to the water heater was exposed, uh, no GFCI protection, it says new, so you do have to be careful with the voice to text, you got to make sure it'll get a few things wrong. Uh, ungrounded receptacle noted. Missing receptacle cover plate in the basement. So look at all I did was go and take pictures of these and speak the defect in using voice to text. Um, now I'm gonna hit my beautiful thing here. Overall numerous defects and red flags under the wiring system indicating unreliable and incomplete wiring practice, recommend additional inspection, examples of observations and defects found during inspection and um, are included in this electric chapter as repair items and also include. So I can also have a few other separate comments. You know, I could come down here, these were uh, random testing, three wire, there was some two wire, so three wire and two wire is really what it is. Um, my GFI inconsistent with modern standards. Put that guy in. And I might, I might actually take the laundry room out. And now I gotta go find that comment somewhere down low here. Put that in here. I'm going to list that as an improvement item. Uh, 
so we got some loose receptacles in the building so and there's some uh, car smoke and carbon monoxide detectors were incomplete and I already put those in on the mobile app so you know now I've got this one comment that there's a lot of stuff wrong with the wiring and here's a whole little list um, and doesn't like ungrounded give it a hyphen okay let's do some other stuff we're just flying right along I mean we're getting getting close to getting through a lot of these pictures um, I've got a sauna here so we could go to additional plumbing uh, sauna beyond the scope I recommend disclosing any additional information I didn't really touch it or get into it uh, let's see um, there's some pictures in the beginning and the end of the screens vented in the attic or for the soffit venting. So attic access, there was none, no access vaulted ceiling everywhere. And that gives me a whole limitation, boom. Uh, this was not visible, sheathing was not visible. Um, insulation type, not visible. Uh, exterior fan vents, ridge vents, soffit vents. Got a whole little explanation about roof cavity venting. Um, soffit vents, missing screens, fine mesh screens. Boom. I'm going to grab that picture. I got one more picture here. One of the first pictures I took, tight mesh screen. Let's resequence these. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I might list it as an improvement. I can't really tell that anything's super wrong with it, but. All right, got that comment taken care of. We got a downspout discharging next to the foundation grounds. Let's go to the top here. Site description. All right. Steep slope. So we had a steep bank. Let's open it up. Soils engineer recommended. New construction. Disclose any additional information. That's what I want. A steep big bank exists on this property. An evaluation of soil stability is beyond the scope. Recommend disclosing any information. A buyer may, may wish to seek additional information about the soils here. That's what these pictures are. So, boom, we're getting some of those pictures. That's good. All right, what else do we got? Where, where were we? Site. We had some other site stuff. Oh, rotted retaining walls. Those are all over the place. Let's go down to retaining walls. We had some stone, but we also had some wood. And um, rotted railroad ties. Some of them are structural. I'll just give it a repair item. Wood retaining walls, rotting. Okay, we also had a rotted stump, so I'm going to type in stump. Let's see, maybe I'm in the wrong section. I need to be in grounds. That's this one. I'm going to type in stump. Uh, rotted logs near the house. Stumps, removal recommended. We'll call this not a repair, but recommended maintenance. Uh, and we'll move that up above this due diligence. There's some huge trees around, so I was recommending an arborist. And then there's a little bit of pruning trees off the house and the chimney. Uh, oh, here, downspouts next to foundation. So this comes up all the time, right? Downspouts drain at foundation. Boom. Let's bring that guy over. Bring it up here. And we'll call this a recommended maintenance. Downspouts next to the foundation at the southwest corner. All right, so we got a little bit of drainage repair there, recommending getting it at least five or six feet away from the house. 
cool. Uh, we got a little more rot repair here. Um, oh, look, here's more rotted railroad tie. So we could go down to grounds, trees, and vegetation. Or no, it was in retaining walls. Let's bring this up above. Oops. Brought it too far up. Get it down in this section. All right. We'll bring this picture in. Okay, let's see. What else do we have on the exterior stairs? Non-standard risers off, right? Exterior yard stairs have non-standard riser heights. Trip hazard repair. That's a good example of it. I'm just saying this is just showing one example of it. That they were all over. So I was realizing there was there was some anabid beetle damage and rot in the door on the south side. So let's go back to exterior siding and trim localized rot repairs. I'm going to add another one. Uh, sometimes my my voice to text says wood decay w o u l d so obviously no good wood decay and anabid beetle damage in the wood door on the south side below the chimney so i'm going to actually just copy this guy save it I come up here i'm going to give myself another bullet and just paste that in so we got another one in, in there um, let's see, there's a crack. The trees were affecting the flat work here. So we go to grounds. Uh, let's see, there we go. Gr uh, concrete walkway, I got that in. Typical cracks, tree roots. There's my guy. You know, it gives me all these ones. Driveway, this wasn't in the driveway. Walkway, that's the one I want. Boom. Walkway. recommended maintenance it's not that bad okay let's see there's a lost seal in the house so we'll go to, I put those on their interior and windows so it looks like there was a bunch of things I didn't fill out here so I didn't notice any settlement in the building it was mostly drywall there's a little bit of wood uh, wall insulation not visible stairs and railings were non-standard um, and the the issue there was the guardrail was incomplete. And I got a picture of that right here. Pretty stairs, but not not good. Right, so we'll put those in, and let's go back to lost seal here. We're working our way down. It was interior doors were hollow core and solid core. Glazing was insulated glass. It was a metal frame, and there were sliding windows, casement windows, awning windows, fixed pane windows, and lost seal one. A lost seal was noted. Boom. We can put a cursor there and do our little bullet thing to make a little specific bullet. Okay, what else do we got here? Fireplace, that's always fun. So we'll go down to heating systems. We already got a lot done on our heating system. Uh, bath fan ducting was not visible. Kitchen fan ducting, not visible. Limitations show up, I can't see that stuff. Gas fireplaces, there was none, so I'm just gonna leave it blank. Solid fuel fireplaces, masonry firebox, boom. Um, common observations, masonry fireplace, uh, loose brick, I got a better, I need to get a better comment there. Well, let's do missing mortar and loose brick. Alright, and we will bring this.
us in that there was some cracked brick in the fireplace. Okay, now we've got another thing here with chimneys while I'm thinking about it right here. Um, okay, so we're going to recommend repair of the cracked fire brick noted on the back wall of the fireplace. Um, south living room period. Save. Okay, we're going to go to chimneys. And I've already got a bunch of stuff I did on the app. Here's a picture of the flu, clean and inspect, organic growth, rain cap recommended. Um, let's see, we'll drag this picture in. But we've got a metal chimney here that was too short. Height. Inadequate chimney height. See how I used the voice to tack or the uh, keyword search. Drag this in. Ditch this one. So I got two of Charlie Buell's awesome illustrations here. Um, this is too close here. Inadequate chimney height repair item done. Uh, I think this was another picture of the inside of the wood stove. Yeah, wasn't all that bad. Uh, I'll think about that one here. Ooh, signs of prior leakage. That's a good one for us to do. Let's go there. Um, let's see. We'll add pest inspection here. The gutters were incomplete over on this side of the house. I already got most of this done on the mobile app, but uh, I wish I could tilt the arrows. That would be nice. I've already got that comment pretty done. So let's go into interior uh, wall and ceiling finishes. Let's type in the word leak. Water stains dry, inquire with seller, disclose. Perfect. Um, we don't want disclose. And they were in the ceiling in the living room by the masonry chimney. These stains were dry at the time of inspection. Boom, boom. Drag those in. And I'm calling it a repair item because uh, there's still some water stains and stuff. Damage finishes paint as needed kind of thing. We could call it recommended maintenance. Alright, boom. Okay, keep going here. I, I pause it for a minute to uh, get a glass of water here so let's keep going um, here's a picture of Eve so I like to go to the attic and I'll often just put a picture of the ventilation in with this little note about roof cavity ventilation so got that picture in now we had some cracked tiles in the kitchen floor so we're going to kitchen general section I bet I could just start typing in crack oh, let's talk about tile Hmm. Surprised I don't have that. Well, we could put it in the interior. Go to flooring. Tile. Crack. Uh, one crack tile. A tile floor in the kitchen is cracking. That's pretty good. Um, here's another picture of that lost seal. So we could go to the windows, and there's two pictures of it. Um, 
There's one more roofing picture that I took from inside. I might actually just go at it. So we'll go to the roofing section. We had a number of things, but this was another one. I never like seeing this where they roofers don't get their layout right. Copy this guy. And paste it in. A little more detail. All right, here's a picture of some wood decay at the exterior door. Wood decay was noted at the threshold, rotting threshold, the wooden door jam material. I want this one. Uh, uh, wood decay is in threshold of the back door to the balcony off the main bathroom. So then we'll bring in this picture that the balcony door wasn't latching well either. So we got a few little things there. We'll call it repair. We got a little WDO comment. Um, uh, bathrooms. I got the bathrooms mostly done on site. Uh, a lot of people were talking to me on this one. So uh, high moisture meter readings. Let's go. Let's look at my common observations. Um, high moisture meter readings. Uh, it's also loose. There's also stains. Not loose, no stains. Boom. And high. My voice to text did not have the wrong high. Got to watch that. High moisture meter readings. Boom. Um, so we got that as a repair item. And we can switch to the master bathroom. Um, let's see. There was no tempered safety glass by the tub. Let's actually put that in with the windows. Uh, let's see. Let's look at our comments here. We should have some for emergency safety glass. Boom. What do we got? Missing where required. Missing by tub. Got a whole little linked article here. So we'll grab these pictures. Nice little tub, huh, with a view of the water. Um, recommended maintenance, nah, call it a repair item. Okay, um, let's go, I did get a video of the tub working. This was a jetted tub, so I'll show you how I like to do that. Um, let's see, there was some cracking tile that I already reported on. Um, the glass door opens in, which is a safety hazard. The shower head is leaking. So jet test. Um, the jetted tub was filled and tested during inspection today. Boom. Um, pump access. No access. Access screwed shut. And I got a picture of that. I'm not going to start unscrewing this guy. Um. All right. So there's a little bit of galvanized steel supply pipe. Uh, look at this. We're just cranking through this report. 50 minutes. We're almost we're almost done until except for cleanup. We got a few more pictures here. So let's see. Let's go under laundry. 
and loose uh, pedestal sink loose let's see the sink in the laundry I need to do a little library work around this that's why it's a bit sloppier than you I would like it was loose and needs to be secured. We'll drag a little video in of the loose laundry sink. There is some galvanized pipe here, uh, laundry ventilation, um, just an operable window. No fan, older house, an improvement. We'll give it a little illustration. We'll go into my little building science illustrations. This talks about controlling indoor relative humidity. Boom. Let's see, um, what else do we have? We'll go into attic, type in the word loft. Loft, note this house has all vaulted ceiling. There is a loft space, but this is not an attic and it is inside the thermal envelope. All right, now let's go to plumbing. Um, pipe material, water supply, unknown, I couldn't see it. I got the main water shut off and the water pressure, all that I did with the mobile app. Pipe insulation, uh, not visible. Functional flow, average. Circ pump noted, no, none noted. Um, but there's some steel pipe here. So we've got copper, galvanized steel. Uh, and let's go under galvanized pipe. Uh, future project. There wasn't much here. Average life of this pipe can vary widely. Um, at the time of inspection, functional flows out of this condition could change or worsen. Um, a small bit of steel pipe was noted in the uh, in the basement. So we're listing that as a future project. Nice way to handle a few bits of steel pipe. Electric panel, I think I got most of that done on site. A um, uh, picture of me testing the, uh, the voltage. The whites were not correctly labeled in a bunch of places. Modern AFCI note, no surge protection. There was some missing bushings. We'll put those at the top. And there was actually a double tap that I forgot to take a picture of because so many people were talking to me when I was there. Uh, double lugging, general, let's see, inside panel. Well, let's just do this. Double. Double tap on breaker noted. was on a tandem breaker. All right. I don't have a picture of that, unfortunately, but I do have just everything else. So, All right, we're almost done. Uh, we got a couple little weird things straggling around. Here's a picture of that they should prune trees off the house. So we'll go to grounds, uh, arborist. What do we want? Right here, prune vegetation off the house. Move that one next to the chimney. That's nice. Okay, we've got a handrail that's that miss it doesn't return to the wall. So we'll go to the interior. We'll go to the stairs. Uh, handrail. No return to walls. Boom. We're at 54 minutes. Uh, these were some prior leaks that I'm going to note. Uh, there were two water heaters here. You see one and two. We could label these water two. We'll call a water heater basement. Give it a capital letter here. Um, 
Let's see, this one was close to the end of its life. There were no straps, no pan, no expansion tank. TPRV was missing. You could give it a little circle here. Um, so I'm going to note prior leaks. Uh, All right, you can see what a terrible typer I am. My soccer coach always made me skip typing because he thought I should be out running laps. <laughs> um, here is this. This was all dry at the time I was there now, but um, and I had I was working top top down, so I'd already run a bunch of plumbing here. I think this was kind of old, but. Uh, let's see, so I got some panel pictures. I don't know if I even need those, really. Uh, let's put it under here just to use the picture. Uh, there was an electric heater that was working. Um, I might even just not put the picture in. Additional heat sources. Uh, I need to really add electric ceramic heater. Boy, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, I don't know what that's even a picture of. Oh, Anabids in the deck framing. We'll get that one in there. Decks. Boom. All right. Well, so I'm really down to clean up. There was no guest bath. I can leave it blank. There's no crawl space. Structure and basement wasn't much wrong. Most of the structure wasn't visible. Uh, not visible. Building configuration. Basement. Foundation poured concrete. Wall framing. Not visible. Not visible. Not visible. Not visible. Not visible. Basement. There was a full basement there with no crawl. Basement. No. No. No moisture noted. Uh, let's see. Pests. Rodents. Rodents. None noted. Which is extraordinary around here. There were no other pests. Uh, this is my little pest inspection, and you can see I've already been using that just throughout the whole report. Um, but let's see, there were no active wood destroying organisms. Uh, there sort of were in the door, but I'm going to just, that door just ought to be replaced, really. Um, evidence of inactive present. There are some anabids. Evidence of damage present. Anabids. I'm just given a specific location. Uh, present CWDO, present CWDO. So this is just filling in my pest inspection. And then checking out procedure. Oven is off, client still in house. Um, boom, so I got that done. So I have really gone through this whole report. These only black things, there was no crawl, there was no guest bath, there was no garage, I left them blank. So I still have the overview to do, and then I'm gonna go through and just do a little cleanup. Um, but just, you know, this took me 59 minutes. I was on site uh, as well with the mobile app for about a three hour inspection. It was a pretty decent sized house here, um, so. Uh, yeah, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, just walking through what it's like to do a scribeware report. I know this wasn't a tutorial, but I actually hope you picked up a lot of kind of tips and tricks from it. Uh, and you can see for specific information all of our tutorial videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.